Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Friday Night Legends. My name is Ted Stone. I'm Meps. This is Jens Anderson. Hello. Senior Creative Director for DC Universe Online. Hello. And tonight we have a jam-packed special show for you. We're going to be on USPC, and mm. we're going to be commentating a 2v2 Legends tournament. Dynamic Duo yes. Tournament. Yes. Hosted by... Yes, that's the song. That, no, but that wasn't the song. <laughs> that was, that was almost the song. We, we knew that where you That would be go. better. Yeah. Okay. Um... Yeah, USPC, hosted by the Community Events Council, mm -hmm. which is a player-run group. They've put this together. and you, you want this back, by the way? It came out of your mouth. I'm just oh, wondering if you I apologize. Care, care for it back. Uh, it was for you. He just spits on me at yeah. work all day. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Go That's ahead. why we sit on opposite ends of the building, know. I guess. Um, but before we get to the tournament... <laughs> yes? A little further. Okay, a little further. <laughs> all right. <laughs> before we get to the tournament, we have a couple things to talk about. Yeah. GU30 is okay. out. GU30 is out. Let me show you, you that GU30 is out. I am so he's happy. He's very excited about how fun this is for him. Look at all my ignore he's settings. He's ignoring I'm ignoring all of you. I certainly don't ignore people on the forums or on my Twitter. Or, or even on text chat even sometimes. Even text chat. It's the, it's the pop-up invites. It's the yeah. invites. Yeah, those, it's are, those are trouble. Ninja, join my league. Ninja, join my group. Ninja, yeah. join my instance. Although you're in a league, so that's not a problem for you. I am. Yeah. It's a good league. I yeah, like it. Yeah, it's a great league. Twerk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> good times. I think I might be the only one in the league now. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yes, my settings. Oh, you're not even showing my settings. Oh, you want me to show your settings? There you go. <sighs> I know. That was sad. Oh, 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 look at all my ignores. Look at that. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, yeah, anyway. He's very excited about his there's uh, more. G30. But wait, there's more. There's more what? There's more settings stuff. Oh, sure. Uh, Let's go over all of it. Here, not just a couple of key things. I think. Oops, sorry. I think it's under. Is it under UI? Yes. Display vulnerability yes. icons. You can customize what shows where for who. Mm -hmm. PVE, PVP, vulnerability icons on myself, on allies, enemy NPCs, and enemy players. Basically, the top two can give you a gross on-off. Like I, these are like you can set the settings you want. Myself, allies, enemy, NPCs, however you want. What is your setting? Now you can decide rather than having to manipulate four things. If you want to turn them on and off, you can just go at the top level here and turn them on and off in various modes and yes. keep your settings so you don't have to change them all the time. So it's it's really friendly, really convenient. Um, I like I don't like it on the my enemy allies or myself, right? I like it on the other stuff. So right, that makes I'll sense. I'll do that. But since we're doing an FNL show tonight, I'm going to put it on allies because I will be on a team technically and people will want to see stuff. Hello, yep. random person. How are you? You can also filter the broker, which is highly popular, highly useful, yeah. and a bunch of other stuff. GU30. Yes. So anyway, that's out. That's live. Uh, 31 we're not talking about quite yet. It's mythical, though. Mm -mm. Um, hey, there's Odie Dad. Yeah, so we'll get to him in a second. Okay. Uh, you wanted to mention George Perez. Yeah, um, you know, I follow Marv Wolfman on Twitter, and, um, you know, I see him tweeting some things once in a while, you know, maybe something he just finished. Uh, Marv know, Wolfman is, for people who don't know... A comic god. Yes. For and people that don't know, they deserve your pity. Okay. Um, and in DCO, he was foundational in the... Story. The story. Yes, he worked with us and uh, on fleshing out all the individual episode stories and things like that. Flew out here to Austin... Um, spent several days working out the story. And anyway, Marv is a, has a, a long and celebrated history in the comic book industry, and one of his um, partners that that he worked with, George Perez, he had tweeted out that George has been, uh, you know, suffering with some illnesses and dealing with problems with his eyes. So, um, you know, I just wanted to s send a shout out to him and you know let people know to. Send send George your love. Speaking of you know George Perez, he was instrumental in New Teen Titans and Trigon and and that whole thing. And since we actually just um, you know uh, released the Sons of Trigon, I thought right. it would be nice to mention him since he was the inspiration for for that character. Yep. And him and Marv worked on that those titles for so long, and we heavily featured them in the last one. So it was uh, sad to hear the news, but you know he seems to be like super upbeat about it, and that's awesome. So yeah, if you want to give him a shout out, and you know. Give him good cheer. Please do. I think we have the information up yep, here. His Twitter's up there, and you can also learn more about him at the DC Comics page. Yeah. I've never so. met him personally, but, uh, you know, if I know Marv fairly well, and, and if it's any judge, Marv, Marv is a good judge of character, and if it's, it's any uh, uh, 
if he he says he's just a, such a super guy um, and really just positive about the whole thing. So. Yeah. Anyway, wish him well. Um, thanks for creating so many great characters over the years, and uh, you know, hope you can still be drawing for a very long time. So, okay. All right. So um, we're gonna do this uh, dynamic duos event, but what afterwards, thing I wanted to mention. Afterwards, we're gonna do something special, or what? you're gonna do something. You're gonna do something. What am special. I gonna do? Oh, yeah, 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 I am. I'm going to do some evening stuff. Yes. But let me get to this other oh, thing okay. first. So another guy I know, uh, Chris Daughtry, right? He oh, yeah. He is a friend that I met through Jim Lee. Mm -hmm. um, Jim's, Jim's cool. It's cool hanging out with Jim. Yeah, you Just meet like cool celebrities come out of the woodwork. Yeah. And people you wouldn't think would be like, you know, oh, my God, dude, I'm such a comic book nerd. And nice. Like, really, you? You know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, Chris is a, a huge comic book nerd. And he just came out with a new single, uh, which is Waiting for Superman. And um, I thought it was really good. I thought it sounded really cool. And uh, definitely, obviously, with the Superman tie-in for us, I was intrigued to listen to it. So if you're a DCUO fan, um, go on out there and give a listen to Chris's song. I think you can just find it on YouTube, on Vimeo or something like that, if you want to go buy it. I think it's a really good song. It touches on the subject matter for us, too. So um, I thought it was cool that he was letting his comic book nerd kind of show there. Is that um, going to drive some of your inspiration for whatever you're working on right now? Uh, uh, sure. Yes, if he writes a Green Lantern song. Oh. I'm all over that. I am all over okay. that. Okay. I, I tried. Yes. <laughs> all right. Now we want to get to the actual tournament here, right? Yeah. Let's. Okay. Uh, oh no, let's, no, no. We were going to. Well, about okay. This. So after the tournament, uh, or, or later tonight. Later tonight. You're going to be having some fun, yes. causing some trouble, killing some people, probably. Spittle's going to go into boss mode. Yeah. He's, he's going to use trinkets, you know, like like this, and get really big and go stomping on people. Yeah. So. Uh, if you want to suggest or have ideas of what Spittle could do yes. or what how servers are where, how he should do that, <laughs> uh, tweet that to tweet. him yes. and use the hashtag, what would Spittle do? What would Spittle do? Hashtag, what would Spittle do? All one word. All one word. And then we'll we'll uh, figure that out later. Yes, and I will I will keep the running list of ideas. Uh, I'll act on some of them tonight. I have some plans of what I'm going to do this evening. On It's USPC. I'm going to be doing okay. this on tonight. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so there you go. It should be good. And uh, we'll see what that? Spittle will do. Any or Sarah, you're lame. You're lame. How do you like that? There you go. All right. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, tonight's all about the Dynamic Duos <laughs> Legends PvP event, and <laughs> we're we're that? bringing you on, Daddy O. It's like a tire exhaling. <laughs> you there, hey guys? Hey, hey. I'm here. How good to doing? see you. Are you shushing someone? Oh uh, yeah, I was telling my little guy to be quiet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thought so. That's right. Uh, so uh, we're we're obviously we want to show as many matches as we can tonight. So let's do a real quick intro uh, to what this tournament is or what the Community Events Council is. Uh, what okay. are you guys? Who are you guys? Well, the Community Events Council is a bunch of players on the USPC side that uh, heroes and villains that just get together, think of events to throw on, put on, and toss around ideas, and then we put a date down and we do them. Very cool. And so this event is the Dynamic Duos. Who thought of this one? Uh, I did. You did? Oh. I, really? I thought it was Cursebringer. <laughs> no, Curse brought up the uh, last one. Oh, 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 I see. Okay. Well, okay. Well, good idea. Um, so so what is the event? Tell us who's in it or how, how many uh, teams do we have? Right now we have 16 teams competing in first round. Uh, we have uh, two-man teams doing uh, scrimmages in the... Batcave. Okay, cool. And it's and all legends, obviously. All legends. Uh, no two characters of the same. Uh, like, you can't have two Banes or two Steels. They have to each be different characters. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, right now we have uh, the first rounds in progress. Is it? It's already uh, started. It's already started because I don't want to hold you guys up and have a three-hour three, lo three hour long. Hey, show. we appreciate that. So we're, we're looking at the <laughs> um, the bracket right now. Um, do you have any have any picks of who we should jump into, or maybe we'll open up to the uh, to the channel? Which which match do you guys want to see right now? If they're on challenge uh, dot com D C U O C E C, you'll be able to see the brackets. Yep, we've got that on the stream right now. Okay, great. What do you think of this? Against uh, you got any picks oh, here? Oh, I didn't even look. Um, 
Right, Clutchmeister and Slob look like they're. Slob yeah, you know what? I was just looking there. at this. I'm looking at uh, Future Slob is actually in Animate Esports now. So these guys actually met at SOE Live, yeah. and it looks like they've got a little uh, league over the pond kind of thing yeah. going here. I didn't know that they had joined forces. Working this together, maybe a little friendly rivalry. Th this Hard could to be say. A, a lock on next year's tournament right now. Yeah, this is a <laughs> so, I, so that's my pick, obviously. That's a dangerous team. Yeah, right there, I'm, right I'm going to go with uh, Bracket uh, in A. Clutchmeister and Slob. I'm not even looking at the rest. All right, well, King Felsa, I see down there. He's good. I recognize Actually, that name. Actually, they're telling me that you guys are looking at the wrong bracket. Oh, yeah. really? Well, that's uh, that's trouble. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's see it here. It should be forward slash D-C-U-O-C-E-C. -C. Okay. Hold no on. No underscore. We're bringing or it just up. Refresh what Dynamic you duos. Oh, I just need to refresh. That was a problem. Looks like we've already got some matches complete. Let me see yes, if I can sir. get back there. Oh, well, let's see if our there prediction we go. even came true. And apparently we were looking at the, long, the wrong block. Okay, so they're not even in it, are they? Oh, they are. They're just down uh, here. Yeah, they are. Okay, Look, they're going to be Meister, in there facing there. King Felsa and Spider Soul, it which is like actually Spider Sting. Um, who's a very good PV player, is PvP player as well. So that should be a really tight match. We might want to watch that one, actually. Uh, I Which see, one? Um, number, I don't know, it's a carrot pointing right. down. The fourth one bracket down. B. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, bracket B, yeah, that, that would be a good match, it looks like. Uh, let's see. Um, I recognize some names, but nobody I've really faced in PvP. I recognize some of the names on the forum stuff. Buzzworthy, of course, I know he was at the at the um, tournament this year. Mathalos, of course, was there as well. Right. Cursebringer, I see. So yeah, I definitely recognize some names here. Some I don't. Some I only know socially, like Aiden. I've never actually... Actually, I have PvP'd with him before. Um, but I don't recall the matches, honestly. So let's see. Who are we, who are we following right now? Oh, nice. Well, we just Future jumped slob, into the Future Slob match. All right, so we are underway here. 11.45 left in this match. Um, and Looks like it's almost over. It's almost over. And Future... Yeah. Future Slob and, uh, and uh, Clutch are definitely in the lead here. They are dominating as expected. Down to Spider Soul and Future Slob going one-on-one. -on -one. Little Lex versus Sinestro. Of course, Sinestro, really fast character. And 20. On the outside. Six. This is it. And right that's there. it. Okay, so... So we caught the tail end of this yeah, match. Yeah, we weren't wrong about that one. Yeah. We were <laughs> that would have been <laughs> awful actually, for a record. And right actually, uh, this is a good time to mention it. Uh, did We haven't talked about the prizes for uh, for who's going to win uh, the the tournament. Can you mention that real quick, Daddy? Yeah, what I have is uh, some SC codes for the winners. Um, I have 10... Uh, first seed place... First place teams getting twenty dollars SC, ten dollars mm -hmm. each. Second place will get ten dollars, five dollars each, and then third place will get some in-game cash, twenty-five thousand each player. Twenty-five thousand in-game cash for third place. Yes. Oh, okay. That's nice for third well, place. A little different. God, if only we could translate that into real money. I know, right? I'd be in this tournament. <laughs> I'm going. I think there <laughs> might be a conflict of interest there. No, not for twenty-five thousand dollars. There's no conflict. Okay, uh, let's see. Any matches in progress right now? I'm uh, I'm taking a look. I think we have a couple no-shows, which might be holding things up. I see. Oh. Well, we're okay. going to hop in for sure on the next round and get, get a complete match. Let's see if I can. I'm just going to randomly go to some people that may or may not be in a match right now. Uh, nope, he's a... So I spelled it These wrong. might not be exact character names either, so that might make it Oh, really? Difficult. Okay, yeah. yeah cause they, they're supposed to be, but... Uh, you know, can't get to Buzzworthy there. Let's try Nala Rose. Nope. Oh, that's two words. Nope. Okay. Felsa, they just finished. Yep. Yep. We're getting ready to start round two in about three more minutes. Do we have any matches in progress? Do you know? None right now. I'm okay. Looking at the bracket and for Jules and Pyro. Uh, bracket F and H. I'm trying to figure out if those players are even here. Okay, see no problem. If, uh, Pyro's in. Oh, I'm going to somebody. Watch, I'll end up back. He'll probably like in his statue. base, private time. Oh, I'd, ooh, yeah, it could be awkward. <laughs> oh, he's nope, in he's the, just hanging he's out in the, the watchtower. Watch so he's no show. Who, Pyro? 
Is he in the Watchtower? He's in the Watchtower. I'm looking at him right here. Michael Grid says Aiden Warden is queuing his match right now. Okay. All right. Let's, let's go Trash watch Aiden. Done. Okay, it looks like Pyro just won. Oh, oh they just hopped out of the match. I see. All right, so let's go to Aiden Warren. Yep. All right, here we go. Get this final round. Boy, one we match. might we might actually have a uh, a uh, PVP event that goes too fast for us to keep up with. Let's, Wouldn't, let's that not jinx Wouldn't that Why be a pleasure? Wouldn't that be a pleasure? Why would you say that out loud? Oh, well, that reminds me. So I'm going to make this slightly more interesting. Oh, oh, joy! Whoever defeats the Clutchmeister Slob team gets an extra 500 station cash from me personally to you. If somebody defeats to me? them, thank you. Not to you, to to the the person. You said to me. Well, I was speaking to the people. So I'm not a person. On top of the the prizing for the tournament, whoever knocks out Clutchmeister and Slob, if anybody knocks out Clutchmeister and Slob, gets an extra five bucks each for Wait, me. Wait, you mean knock them out at all? No, no, no. Or no. Knock, knock them out of the tournament. Out of the tournament. Beat okay. them. Beat them in a round. All right, all right, here we go. Michael Grid, Aiden Warren. You gonna handle my commands there? Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, so we're Aiden. underway. Final round one match. Aiden bringing in a health barrel to match the health barrel that got brought in by the other team. And looks like we got some seriously interesting placement of those barrels as they hit people in the air and a little off target. Ooh, Michael Grid down first. Michael Grid down really quickly. Aiden really going down quick. Needs to interrupt uh, Steel there. He's just wide open hitting that hammer. He's hanging in there. Oh, and it's not going to help. Goes, uh, down goes Aiden. Close Let that barrel helpful. come in. Arquero Robusto throwing in the barrel. Helping out his <laughs> teammate. All right. Michael Grid go went down really quick. Here comes Aiden. They are now out of sync here. This dynamic duo needs to get back in sync, or they are just going to get mopped up. Aiden choosing not to go onto the pad to at least make it go neutral. Looks like he was trying it to get there and got intercepted. 90% of his health before he gets actually on there. That's a great tactic, by the way, uh, especially if you're using Bane to try and intercept. Arquero, Arquero Robusto moving to the stairs, trying to delay the opponent from getting there to cause the node to go neutral by using attacks to make the guy go into his combat snare, basically. Yep. He goes a lot slower. Oh, almost in time there. on his feet. So do you recommend waiting for your partner to show up at this point? Not really. I mean, it, it really depends. It depends on a lot of stuff, especially how long you think that spawn timer would go. Sometimes waiting can cost you way more points. Um, nice. There you go. He used, uh, used his boost to try and get past. Of course, overshot the mark, but at least he's on there now making it go neutral. Hopefully Aiden will have some time to come back. Here he comes now. If he can get back with Michael still with a decent amount of health, maybe he can help. Arquero Robusto getting very low, goes down under the assault of these two Fearless Legion players. Sorry, Fearless Legion and suit up. Let's see if they can take out Steel. Steel kind of vulnerable on his own now, in my opinion. Um, but now one back on onto on a, a two-on-one situation. Aiden unable to actually finish off the Vengeance before he got knocked out. Vengeance camping uh, the node while Arquero Robusto moves out to intercept the opponents coming in. Michael Grid going down. Two-on-one situation. Aiden Warren really needs to buckle down here, try and get off some counters if he can, does successfully there, help him weather this storm while his teammate gets back. Long spawn timer for his teammate. That did not help. So they are again out of sequence. 965 to 202. Yep, this is going to be over very quickly, probably before we hit the 10 minute mark here. Michael Grid waiting a little bit down there to let the spawn timer... Went for the immunity. I've let the spawn timer kind of get some time off of it so Aiden can join him a little quicker this time. It's a smart there move. There we go, two on two. Yep, two on one again. He's just They're just getting crushed when they move in too fast. Well, they're on my side. Maybe I should go interact with this thing over here. What do yep, you think? Yeah, that'd be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> 965 to 13. Yeah, it's over. And well that's done. the match. Arquero Robusto! And vengeance for the win. Turn that down right. a little bit. Don't mute just me. Kidding. Don't rob me of my voice, Ted. Oh, yeah, it's just a little, a little quieter there. All right. Good job. Um, wow. Well, we can kind of 
see who got the brunt of the beating there, which was Michael, because uh, he didn't get to get a lot of damage off, so that meant he was busy getting his beat up. So good job to the, that, that team. Good try. Arquero Robusto and the Vengeance moving on to the next round. Who are they fighting? Well, let's take a look at the second round. That was a good fight. Really, really good fight. They're going to be going against Shadow Saber and AK-47. Okay. I think I said that right. So, uh, so we've got a full, full four matches to go. Yep. Okay. So Mathlos and Kurt Springer versus Noteworthy and Souls. Yep. Uh, Mathlos and Curse uh, and Curse. At least Mathlos. You Mathlos was actually your partner, right, Daddyo? Yes, during the SOE live tour. Yeah. You and guys got far. I think you were you were the fourth, fourth place. place, right? You were yep. just out of that consolation bracket. That was really just close. Just out of it. And um, all right, Teenage D and the. Cat, somebody I can't see the Cat. rest of the name. I'm gonna guess burglar versus Clutchmeister and Future Slob. I'm I'm kind of actually I gotta tell you I'm a little bit taken aback that they are now in the same league. League. It's that that Slob has jumped over cheating, the pond. Right? I don't think it's cheating. I think it's, it's like stacking the teams for sure. It's though. like the Yankees. Yes. You know, you just everybody sort of loves <laughs> the Yankees, so that's fine. Um, or Manchester United if you're over in Europe. I guess they kind of do the same thing. All right, let's see. Lady D Derp, Derp, Lady Derpina. Derp, Derp. Death by something Death. versus Pyro and Squash. Yeah, Pyro and Squash, and then Shadow Saber, aka for, for Shevin. So I, I think the, I think we're gonna have a strong uh, Group A upper group semifinals. Yeah. If, if yeah. my picks make it through, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so uh, Daddyo, how we, Daddy. how we doing? We're doing good. Just tell me when to start and who you guys want Go to for watch. it. You, uh, let's, well, okay, so let's actually ask chat this time to see which, uh, which match they which want match to see. Match they want to see. Let us know. Here's the bracket again. Which, which uh, one, two, three, or four, which I guess it's I, J, K, or L, I, J, which one K, you want to see. Chat will let us know here, and then we'll have everybody queue up. One for Slob, one for Math, two for Math, one for Pyro. Oh, you've got eyes and oh, ones yeah. in there too. We uh, need we need we need everybody to decide. Well, we need a majority Honestly, here. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of I and K. A lot of I and K. Well, so, so it we're going to go with okay. I because K's K's already over. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, looks well, like then they let's went go already. with I. We'll so. go with I. We 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 we'll watch we'll watch your boy. All right. So yeah, have uh have those guys queue up and we'll follow Mathlos into the match here whenever they're ready. Okay. I, I can hear Curse Bringer back there. Hello, <laughs> Curse Bringer. Find uh find Mathlos. He should be. Hey, tell room. tell Curse that he better not come looking for me tonight because he's gonna he will regret it. It will be a world of hurt for him. You have no idea what I have planned. It's gonna oh, be he's ugly. Listening he's listening to you. Ugly. You don't want a piece of spittle in his his minions tonight. That's right. I have minions coming with me. Oh, don't yeah. don't give, don't give hints. Wait, do you? I thought you didn't. Oh, yet. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh no. It's gonna be an exciting night. We should probably just broadcast that too. You want you want to stay till like midnight? And do like a six hour F and L. No. People, do you want Yens to stay until midnight and do like a six hour F and L? Let us no. know. No. So when he All disappears, right. we're we're yeah, uh, know, we're following. I know. I just made sure you're paying attention. Okay, thank you. The people okay, want you to do a six-hour FNL. I think he disappeared. I think he disappeared. Yep, they're ready. All right, All right here we so go. we're going in. All right, Mathalos and Cursebringer versus Noteworthy and Souls. Noteworthy and Souls, all right. All right, Superman and Steel. They want me to chain you to the desk. What? <laughs> you twisted people. You are twisted people. It's good TV, though, right? Okay, here we go. We're off. No, 1, it's to probably 1, like not safe for children TV. <laughs> if we start chaining people to desks. Well, you know. All right, double barrels as usual. Quick couple points on a node capture, it looks like. Noteworthy uh, and Souls actually, I think, grabbed both those barrels that were on their side. Oh, Noteworthy getting really r low. We run train going down first in this match. Cursebringer hanging on, and Curse oh and yeah. Mathalos, most wanted, dominating Clear right it there. Out. 
Let's see if Mathalos goes over and cherry picks that barrel from where they spawn, but nope. Was that was that you talk uh, clapping or is that curse clapping? All right, here we go. Oh, no, Both that was me clapping. <laughs> Both nice. of them come back in at once. Mathalos wielding the two-handed hammer and Souls constructing the ginormous bat to show him what a real two-handed weapon looks like. And uh, definitely sending the message as he knocks him out with it over the head. Cursebringer not going to yep, weather that That one either. went the other way. So we have another swing in the opposite direction. With a good spawn time, they might actually stay ahead on points, though. Let's see. Curse, uh, actually, or sorry, Mathalos stops to grab that barrel. Perfectly Gets placed onto the node That's for him nice and roll. Curse. Of course, we have uh, Souls going for barrel hunting as well and gets the counter barrel in there, so both teams getting healing. Uh, Defection and We Run Train will have theirs going a little longer. Maslow is starting to get really low. Needs to take Souls out. Does not do it, but Noteworthy switches targets, gets gets Souls out. Dead even. Dead even. Curse getting falling. a little bit of an advantage, but gives up the counter to Noteworthy. Let's see if he, oh, and Maslow is back to help him out, but so is Souls. Who's going to get the first kill? Cursebringer goes down. Noteworthy soon to follow. And now we got a one-on-one -on -one situation again on the node. So no node movement on points, just kills here. 783 to 762. Let's see if Mathalos picked up any tips from the SOE Live tournament. He can bring those to bear right now and survive with about 5% health left. He's doing a beautiful job. Oh, oh hangs around to get the double Rocky-style KO. You know what that is, right? Rocky one. It's yeah, they, yeah. You can do it too. Like, I don't, I don't oh, you are no. Look at this guy. What I got to work with? It's no fun. Yeah. Hey, look. What stuff happened? He's dead. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Six ninety two to seven forty eight. We got the Super Family versus a Lantern and Catwoman. Steel is part of the Super. Make family. sure you're not on the node. I'm not on the node. Okay. There you go. Just making sure. Just making sure. I don't think I can affect it, can I? I well, guess I can. I think you I'm might. in hide mode. Oh, maybe that's okay. We're I think we're, we might, we might be fine. Never mind. Carry on. Seven thirteen six thirty six. Most wanted is has a slight edge here. Oh, they're two on one on Cursebringer. Yep. Athlos went down. But you know what? Cursebringer's playing Superman. But apparently, the other team has Kryptonite. And math just got back as the curse went down. All right, still got a two-on-one situation, but it looks like um, looks like the other uh, teammate went barrel hunting. Didn't find the healing barrel he was probably looking for, but did come back with fire. It's better than some nothing. damage to Mathalos. Definitely better than nothing, especially if you waste the time to go all the way around there and look for and stuff. And especially if you abandon Ooh, your friend. Nice. When he needs you the most. Let's see if Curse can get souls. He can. They're even on health right now. Noteworthy and Cursebringer, but Noteworthy gave up a really clutch counter. Cursebringer and Mathlos is back. Nicely done to most wanted. Wow, they really turned that around. 538. Now the points, are ticking. points ticking off. We run train and uh, and defection are behind right now. A little over 100 points with 11 minutes left. I feel like I watch so much football. I want to be like, and we are now in our 11th minute. I want to say it like an English sportscaster. That was a nice move uh, Cursebringer did. He got the ice barrel, threw it down by their spawn, slowed one of them down so they didn't have a two-on-two. Two. Nice. You said football, but you meant soccer. I mean, but no, then you said it football. Is football. I know, you're one of those people. It's, uh, oh, I love that about you. One of those people great. that call the sport what it's supposed to be called. The Europeans in love other, me right In now. other Don't countries. You? Europeans love me right now. They do. I'm sure they do. I think these people in America... Most, most continents that are not North America love you quite a lot. <laughs> just kidding. Ted, I'm stuck. Uh, what do you I mean? I can only go forward and back. Really? Yeah. Or up. Let me uh, see if we can fix that. There I am. Okay. Still right. stuck? No, not anymore. Let's see. There we go. Thank you. Now I can go left and right again. Technical difficulties. All right, most wanted, definitely in command here. Curse heading all the way over. Oh, no, nope, brings the healing barrel back. Smashes it down on top of souls to get it ticking on the node. Wow, they are wrecking the heroes right now. Both of them have had to blow their soda colors, and their health is withering down. 
Oh, I'm really surprised Mathalos got caught right there, but Curse saves the day. Actually, a uh, short spawn timer here for both teams. Actually, everybody except for note or Noteworthy, it looks like. Most wanted. Uh, Mathalos right back in. Souls back in. Noteworthy with it's a, be a brutally long spawn timer. This is not what they needed right now in these last few seconds here with the points getting so low. You cannot afford those long spawn windows yep, like you, that. You can't afford to wait at now this point either. Yeah, they're staggered. Two on one situation. This is looking really good for Cursebringer and Mathalos. It's their match to lose right now. I've seen crazier things happen. I've actually come back from deficit like this in a pug with two, uh, sorry, two or three points on the clock. Wow. 400, 500 points on the board and we still have managed to win. So this is not insurmountable. And they, they did it there. Hope yet. They just there. actually cleared it. And the uh, most wanted split now because yep. Mathlos coming in alone. Oh, Souls really playing with some dangerous... Oh, really dangerous maneuver there. Leaving Mathlos on the inside while um, while Noteworthy was barrel hunting. Very dangerous. Just Gave a couple a of points, but they don't points. have any left. Mathlos uh, getting very low. Let's see if he can hold on here. Both gives up the knockout. Even exchange right there. Both teams giving up the knockout. Cursebringer very much uh, in the at, in the hot seat, trying to knock out Noteworthy for the victory. Finish it off. This could be it, right here. Let's see who gets the killing blow. It was Cursebringer. Nice job. Good, good job. Good very game. very good match, good match guys. Good match. That was really good. It was it was pretty close all the way up until those last few points. About when they got down to about 200 points, and then things started going south. For the heroes, they got out of they got out of sequence with their spawns. They ended up, uh, uh, you know, getting a bot a bad spawn timer at the end. There, they did turn it around at one point, right toward the end. Well, but at 500 points, late. they the villains kind of pulled away, and yeah. then they caught back up. Heroes yeah. caught back up. It was that was a really good match. Lost it. Really, really good match. So. All right, so they advance on to the next round. Good job, Against Curse. Future Slob and Clutchmeister. Hey, tell him, tell him not to get too cocky though. That PVP victory will not help when with his <laughs> spittle. Uh, spittle shenanigans tonight. You might tonight. be in trouble tonight. No, there's no way, dude. Might be I'm trouble. telling you, there's no way. I you got might be in trouble. I got some bodyguards coming. You might have friends, brutal. too. You know the bouncers outside the safe houses? You know those guys? Yeah. Chumps compared to really? who I'm bringing with me. Really? Chumps! Hmm. Well, I don't know. Curse Bringer might have some friends. No, he doesn't have anybody maps. this powerful. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> I'm stuck again. Get me out of here. Ah, uh, you're such a stuck person. I'm so <laughs> that was the <laughs> lamest <laughs> comeback ever. Okay. All right. right looks so looks like Shadow Saber and AK-47 and the Vengeance and Robert. Are, are, however, he pronounces that name. Are they, they in uh, there? They're they're, they're going right now. Match right now. All right, we're, we're going in. over. All right, and then on the bracket on the top, we had Clutch and Slob uh, moved uh, their their bracket. Oh no, they're not in there right now. I don't think. Nope, they they already advanced. They're in the semifinals. Nice. Anyway. Okay. So right. round two is over. That's what, that's what you're saying. We're into the semifinals it, now. Right. Right now, round two it looks like Vengeance and uh, Aguato, or however you're pronouncing it. Was Arquero, oh, come Arquero, on, Arquero, buddy. Arquero, Let me tell AKA you how to pronounce 47. it. I'll tell you. Hold on. Here we go. Arquero Robusto. Okay, they're starting their match now if you'd like to go watch it. Let's go watch their match. That's how you pronounce that name. Yeah. Phonetically, what, what it you, actually is like that. What you heard there, people, was him <laughs> muted. Because he was entirely <laughs> muted when he did that, that one. Really? Yes. I didn't have, could you actually hear it then? Yeah, they could oh, hear it. Trust right. me. I don't know if the people could hear it. They could hear it. All right. I um, want to know. I want to know. You can confirm, people. All right. All right, so li hey, do you want to do uh, each round at this point? We can do each yeah. semifinal. We're good. We'll do each semifinal and then the finals individually, so we don't miss any of the, the great matches. Okay. Yep. Okay. I think we have time for that. You know who loves you the most right now? Who? Everybody who's wearing headphones watching this broadcast. Yeah, I like to really stay in with the headphone crowd, <laughs> <laughs> so that we don't like destroy eardrums. Yeah. I have tinnitus, by the way, so I have the constant ringing in my ear. Really, so it's my mission to make everyone suffer in life everyone like else I do. So too? I'm just going to be blowing out eardrums with our Kiero's name this whole this whole time. Oh man, D King Dallas says that you are more entertaining than I am. Well, which right. I think I'd have to agree. You know, but I appreciate that he points it out. That's nice. All right, so here we go. This is the final match of round two. Yes. 
Yes, so we've got uh, Shadow Saber and AK-47 <laughs> versus yeah. the Vengeance and Arkiro Robusto. That's like the Mickey Mouse version. I was, I was trying to do it soft for yeah. everyone. <laughs> All right. Nice. Arkiro Robusto defeated Shadow Saber for the knockout. Heroes are up by 120 points. Still early. One on one on the node here. A healing barrel coming in for looks like. Uh, all right. No. Don't know who it's for. Yeah. It's the. I hate to say it, but that's a awful league name that probably needs to get changed. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a really, really awful. That's unfortunate. Oh uh, no. But don't worry. Mm. Once you're on FNL, it's easy to get your name changed. Mm. Well, I will show my displeasure by no longer saying his name. All right, so we have the Vengeance and his partner. I shouldn't say the Vengeance now either. You can't say either we of have the, names. the heroes. Well, we know who we're rooting and for. And their awful taste in league names um, are winning and losing at the same time. Yeah. Winning in the game, losing, losing my respect. It's a shame people have to do that. Mm-hmm. Awkward silence. Yeah, I'm just Awkward. sort of yeah. not sure what I want to turn away, to be honest with you. But uh, um, So, hey, Daddio. Yes, Thank sir. you for putting this together, by the way. Oh, you're um, welcome. I really, really love seeing um, you know players take these kind of things into their into their own hands and organize this, is, this yeah, stuff. This is a great example of what fantastic. the community can do. Yeah, absolutely Put fantastic. Well, we have uh, d different communities doing the same goals on both the PlayStation Three and this. Right. Uh, right now, you got the other stuff going on with Super Patriot for the Olympic Games, Olympus Games. Yep, yep that's got, starting uh, up this weekend. Yep, that's on uh, USPS3, right. too, right? right? And then uh, Kurt Springer has one, too, doesn't he? Sorry, yes, you just the, one that, the one that started last, uh, what, two weeks ago? We're doing the first weekend in October. Apocalypse Games, right? Apocalypse Games, right. yes. Yeah. All right, this looks very much well in hand for um, the heroes. They win it. Um, let's, uh, let's take a quick well, break just okay. two seconds. We're okay. going to move away from the screen here. Just going to mute this for one sec. Right back.
All right. And we're back. Okay, we're back. That was fun. Sorry. All right, so let's get back to it. What's, uh, what's the next match in the... Okay, so round two is complete. Uh, and we've got the semifinals to go. So from here on, we're going to uh, show every match. Um, and... Uh, yep, yeah, so uh, let's have uh, Mathlos, Kurtzbringer, Clutchmeister, and Slob go first. And uh, how about have them queue up whenever they're ready? Are you still with us, Daddy? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Just Good. getting them to go. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Sorry for the break, people. We are back, and uh, I'll stay with you for the rest of the the tourney. Let's see who we got going on down here. Look at Clutch and Slob, just sort of sitting here. Man, I can't believe they're in the same league now. It's yeah, it's a little bit. Uh, this is like it's get it's actually getting me excited for next year's tournament. <laughs> There's going to be some competition. <laughs> like, People are going to bring the bring the serious you know power because yeah. we had we had what like 19 teams I think uh, last year at SW Live, and um, room for 32, but only you know 19. Uh, showed up. I think next year we're going to fill up, and I think I'd say probably half of those were were competitive, were top notch competitive. Yeah. You know, obvi obviously we had still some some huge differences. I, in there, you know what? And the other reason I really love what you're doing, Daddyo, what Cursebringer's doing, what Super Patriot is doing is is basically these guys are are sort of breeding the PP PVP tournament competitors of next year. You know, like people will start getting really interested in what a PvP tournament is all about, what it takes to win a PvP tournament, the kind of tactics you need, um, you know, to sort of go the long haul. Right, it's not just one match. Exactly. So, uh, and you're not, you know, you're not playing for marks here. You know, you're playing for advancement. Yeah. And um, it's, it's really awesome because I really feel like people are going to, you know, be even more prepared next year for the tournament. The competition is just going to get insane. Ooh, white Oh, lavender. that'd be really nice. I fought him earlier. Did you all right, they've him? already started, so oh, if you okay. guys are in there. All right. We weren't uh, paying attention. Uh, it was future slob. Future slob. There Here we go. go. Hopefully, I didn't miss too much. It's interesting. You didn't have to use quotes. Not on that. Not on that one. All right. All right. So just underway. To eight sixty. They just really started. So wow, curse and Mathalos. Really focusing on Clutchmeister right now, and uh, looks like Cursebringer Damn. actually broke that uh, that barrel that Clutch was going for behind, so he didn't get a chance to use it. Curse getting beat on by Slob right now, but Mathlos coming in behind. Wow, Mathlos and Cursebringer actually take the first round of kills. It looks like, unless we missed one earlier. Upset. What? Curse grabbing the barrel that would normally be for uh, the hero team coming in here, and taking it for his own team, denying them the health during combat. And let's see if it helps out. Curse is getting rather low right now. Slob and Clutch making a decent adjustment. Pl Clutchmeister goes down again. A future oh, Slob long. gets some revenge on Cursebringer. And now it's Mathalos versus future Slob. Mathalos oh. takes him down. We've got some bragging rights on the, on the line right now. Wow. Our reputation's on the line here a little bit, too. They just want the 500 station cash that I, I offer. Know. Take him out. A little inspiration. That was 500 each, right? Yeah, that's that's each. <laughs> daddy -o, he's all over it. I know, he's like, <laughs> don't. Because <laughs> you're going to get half of that, aren't you? Yeah. You're going <laughs> to. No, 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 no. I give him enough SC. It's about <laughs> okay. Percent, so. <laughs> all right, Cursebringer and Clutchmeister. Clutch trying to use steel. Oh, Curse came Clutch, out ahead again. Clutchmeister actually named his character in the Legends EU tournament as Steel is OP. Yeah. And doesn't look like it right now. Not, steel, not entirely. Steel, not OP. Although he is facing a steel, so true, true. Now, don't get me wrong here. Um, oh, that it's still was close. Painful. Still very close. Six fifteen, six ninety nine. In fact, yep. here we come. A swing back the other way here, evening up even more. But Slob is getting really low. Cost some points to his team. Clutch looks like he's going to take it to Cursebringer right here, unless Mathlos can get in and interrupt. Curse is going down as well. Uh, did a good job on that. Now it's Clutchmeister versus Mathalos at a half health disadvantage. Let's see how much 
t uh, health he can make up, damage he can pull out, not <laughs> much at all. Maslow is hardly scathed during that fight. Future Slob comes back in, makes the node go neutral, keeping points from ticking off. Curse went barrel hunting there out of the spawn and ended up with a uh, ice barrel. Not much help there. Wow! Most Wanted bringing it to Animate Esports right now. Could possible future sponsorships be on the line here even? <laughs> My God! <laughs> yep, they, uh, if you weren't, uh, if you didn't pay attention to SLU Live live streams, the, the European versus US Championship after the main event. Oh, look at these guys! Clutch Blazer has hardly any health. He took out Kur or he took out Mathlos. He's there with Cursebringer. Oh my god, that was amazing! That was How did he survive that? That was crazy! Alright, he's desperately barrel hunting right now. <laughs> there's n It's bone dry. There's, there's not a barrel to be found. There's some pulses going right now. Unbelievable. Oh, Mathlos going down too! Oh, they are staggered. This is not good. Most Wanted needs to regroup. They need to get together. They need to regroup. Let's. Uh, Mathlos can only hope he has a short spawn timer, but he doesn't. He's still sitting here knocked out on the node. Very bad for Most Wanted right now. Unbelievable! Almost Anime seemed like they were killing him slow there. comes back. They now are in the lead for what I think is the first time in this game because we missed the, yeah. missed the beginning. Slob really just going for some extra damage, letting defense go out the window, trying to help out his opponent so that Mathalos can get as low as possible. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Anime Esports needs to get back on the node. They did, they did. Slip back on there. It's good. Let's see if Clutch can finish off. He did. He got uh, Mathalos. It's pretty Very nicely fight done. Here. Two on one oh. situation for Cursebringer. Let's see who he's got to focus on Clutchmeister because he's almost down. He got some immunity, but it, it looked like it wasn't enough. Oh, they turned it around. Unbelievable. I was saying they were uh, quite confident and and uh, and demonstrated their superiority uh, pretty pretty decently in the in the U.S. versus EU match afterwards. And um, looks like they might pull it off here. So they oh no, not as big an upset. Oh. Most wanted focusing on the Animate Esports Future Slob uh, player. He had the most health. Clutchmeister behind them with the least health, and they both turned on to Future Slob there. That might have been a little bit of a tactical error because now they're in the two on one situation and a none on one situation now. All right. Two back on one here, Maslow's coming back. Keeps Animate Esports in combat. They have no time to regenerate whatsoever. So that was a, that was a good move. Now, unfortunately. Okay, good. Here comes Cursebringer now. Okay, so this Got in is, there. even though they're staggered, um, you know, he kept them from regenerating, and it's actually probably going to be a swing back the other way unless Cursebringer really gets handled here by Clutch. Which he is. Wow. I'm. Oh, oh come on, Curse. you got to hold on to it. No, oh, Clutchmeister oh. just chewed him up. Mathalos, um, that is an interesting tactic. Mathalos is choosing to abandon the node so he can try and finish off Clutch. That's a great tactic. If you're low on health and it's a two-on-one situation, you can choose to try and draw the other character off the node. Didn't quite um, work, though. No, it, it well, actually it did. Uh, he, he followed him. So it's they were scoring points on the, on the back end there. Great tactic. 335-76, coming down to it here. Full two-on-two two action. Oh, Most Wanted needs to make a stand. They need to absolutely make a stand right here. They can't afford another knockout. Yeah, this is rough. Okay, that down, might do to, it. down to 14. This is going to do it. There it is. Wow, what an amazing match. It was back and forth the whole time. That was impressive. Unbelievable. I think they That's gonna honestly, be the match of the night. honestly, I would have to say, I bet Future Slav and Clutch were a little shocked right there. Yeah, I bet the they were outside. caught a little flat-footed. Yep. I know those guys are really good, and I know they think and know they're very good, which Thank makes you. them think they're even better than they are, right. which is really good, but it can get you caught flat-footed yep. sometimes. I mean, me and uh, Meps, me and Tunso faced uh, DKX and, yeah. and Clutchmeister afterwards, sort of honorary match, and they schooled us the yeah. first time. But then we came, we did the second match, and we did a little better. They still won, but it, it wasn't anything those, like that the, match. Those, those do. So Slob has won the, the tournament. Uh, two years, two in, years a row. in a row. That's the live tournament. Two years in a row, and uh, why does he keep doing that? Because we're because oh. we're breaking stuff. All right. Um, what a, what an amazing match. So he great. he's won twice in a row, and then Clutchmeister beat him in the EU. Oh yeah. Uh, thanks. So we're talking Buzzworthy about some of the best players we have. Buzzworthy period. and Slob got got schooled during the uh, during the EU 
U.S. They had match. a close match to 500 points and then got schooled. Is, it was, is what they got but schooled. Yeah, it was, uh, they got schooled. It, it was pretty pretty impressive. Yeah. So that that's a really good team. And Mathless, though, also is one of the top-ranked players. Well, yeah, on, like he and Daddy O came in fourth, and it was a really close match, I think, that they they uh, they lost. And, wow, great, great job. Kurspringer okay. and Mathlos, very good fight. Very it exciting. looks like uh, the next match is started, the Lady DePerna, DePerna All right. and the Vengeance. If I can spell it correctly, we'll get in there. There we go. All right, so semifinal number two. Underway. All right. Not Our quite Hero underway. Robusto and the Vengeance. I can say their names again because they changed their league name. They're now in the league Bad Taste. Yes. Which, which is appropriate. It's fitting. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Double barrels going. In. Wow. Actually, I think all three barrels. Three barrels in the mix here. Can't tell whose is whose. But it looks like, uh, wow, that's a long league name. With great power come something. I don't know. Some I think stupid it's stupid Marvel quote. We'll call them the proverbs. The proverbs. The sayings. Comes I think it says comes great barbecue. Oh, good. Oh, well, that's, I like that. That's it's actually very true. Austin. Yeah. Very Austin, Texas. All right, here we go. Arquero Robusto holding on to a health barrel. Cracks it just as the uh, any team, as the barbecues come in. Barbecue ribs. BBQ. There you go. That's easier to say. Lady taking a lot of damage from Arquero on the outside. Goes down quickly. And uh, death by Tesla. Ouch. Also down. Not a lot of barbecue in Oof. that fight. Yeah, they got barbecued. Yeah. Mm hmm. Arquero Robusto! Camp it on the node. Vengeance goes looking for a barrel. Doesn't find anything. S content to uh, fight on the outside. Nice move there. Saw Lex doing the uh, orbital strike and went up to lunge. Get a quick counter. Stop any further range attacks and bring that opponent down to their level. Now in a two-on-one situation. Lex Luthor happy to stay on the outside. And the Vengeance giving up points on the node just to get out there and lunge, get some immunity. Doing it again, not really wanting to get plinked to death by Lex on the outside. That really annoys melee players, I know, as I have one. But it was switching targets, indecision, cost him a knockout and Wasted some points. Damage. Yep. Oh, Lex, death by Tesla is just putting on a clinic on the outside of how to... How to play a hand blaster in a 2v2. That was epic. Good run there, Death by Tesla. Two on one now. Is he going to get Arc Hero? Nope. All right. The uh, bad taste definitely pulling away here in uh, the early minutes. We've got over 12 minutes. We're in our 13th minute now. <laughs> Into injury time. Let's see what the players do. Oh, that was terrible. Terrible dialect. I'll work on that. Yeah. I wasn't should, quite prepared. We should practice some. Yeah. Plus, I've got my regional broadcasting shticks. You know, I can't do the, you know, Akiro Robusto, which is very South American. You, can't? you know, go! Well, and the European version. I they think just you can. don't mix. They do. No, they, they don't mix. mix fine. All right, double knockout here while we were messing around talking about nothing. And uh, bad taste, really holding on there. Oh, oh wow. wow, that was a great I stand. thought that was going the other way. But, you know, Lady comes back in, not giving uh, the Vengeance any time to heal, and he pays the price. So good job there, but already halfway down due to the two-on-one situation. Luther above me here behind the camera. Let's go see stuff from their point of view. Raining down all kinds of energy blasts and he orbital got strikes. Around. Uh, he got knocked back down, helping out Lady from the outside. We got uh, Vengeance coming back in, scoring a quick double knockout on both teams. Vengeance now squaring off one-on-one. -on -one. We've got Steel versus Lex Luthor. Some uh, 52 miniseries climax battle going on here. Ted has no idea what I'm talking about, but some of you might. See, Steel got injected by this stuff and actually turned his skin steel and Lex was stealing superpowers from people and they had a big fight. In 52? Yeah, because uh, John Henry Irons' niece, Natasha Irons, who's like a steel et, mm -hmm. um, you know, she was under Luther's thumb and sway and he didn't like that very much. It was a good thing, but that's what the reference was all I know, about. Yeah. You see how deep it goes? This is how much catch-up you have to do. I have a lot of catch-up to do, although I'm kind of up-to-date on the recent stuff. Uh I have some history to get to. 
Yeah. 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 It's good to know current events. Yeah. But, you know, if you don't know your world history, what does it all mean, Ted? Well, nothing. What does it all nothing, mean? Nothing, because it got rebooted. How so. are you going to judge the geopolitical scene in the DC universe if you don't know the history? Oh, look, the score is 636 to 167. <laughs> this one is looking grim for with great power comes great barbecue ribs. Yes, it does. Lex Luthor trying to unleash hell. And he's doing so, taking the vengeance down to a sliver of health, contesting the node at the same time, maybe getting a double knockout on Arquero Robusto and the vengeance at the same time. Not quite. Almost. I'm going to, you know what, even though ladies here right now, it's a two on one, I'm going to give that to Death by Tesla because I haven't even, yeah, that was all Death by Tesla. Excellent job, she Luther. Got the KO, so. James Marsters would be proud of how you wielded the character. Lunkovich says he would think we have an in with DC to get back issues, and trust me, there's a whole library here with pretty much all the comics you could ever want to read. It's just a matter of time. Oh, 447 to 97. Looks like the Vengeance is going to get another knockout, bringing it down to 77 here now, or 62 rather. Now some points are going to start ticking off the board unless one of the uh, barbecue guys can get back here and contest a node. They are content to stay outside and let even more points tick away, They're on which is really six dangerous points. because it takes a, t a little time to have it switch over. So, woof, they lost in the end anyway, but that was really threading the needle. So good job for the Vengeance and Arquero Robusto. Second semifinal goes to bad tastes. That was long. That was good. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the stats were here. Look at Arquiero tearing it up. Stats. The Vengeance. 73. Wow, they really laid down a, Got a lot of damage a lot there. Of damage in comparison. There. Yep. yep. Alright, All right, let's look at the bracket, see if it's updated. And it has. Oh, we got a bronze match to do. I forgot about that. Yep. So I'll you want to do that one first? Yeah. Well, let's of course. do the bronze first, and then we're going to Clutchmeister. And the Vengeance. We're going to go a little long because we actually want to see all the matches, I think. Excellent. That's a good idea. Ted wants to leave, but I'm not going to let him. Well, <laughs> no, just don't be a jerk. Sit down in the chair and do your job, okay? Okay. You're supposed to be committed to these people. I am so walking away people. on them, I turning your back on a player-run tournament I know. is highly unprofessional. I know. I really regret it. He believed this guy, people. I got to go. Unbelievable. No. <laughs> All right, here we go. So um, let's take a take a deep breath. Uh, who we got? Mathlos and Cursebringer versus Lady Duprina and Death by Death by something. Death by. Okay, um, so they can go ahead and queue up when they're ready, and they're we'll sending it out now. Mute my mic. Some people need to take a break to eat during live streams. Uh, other people don't. So that's interesting. We are going to watch Mathlos, and when they go, hey, curse! Hey, they both got plasmics. That's impressive. That's pretty impressive, right there. Uh, so when they go, this is the bronze match. This is for third place and for twenty-five thousand dollars of in-game cash. <laughs> you thought? No. no. <laughs> Twenty-five thousand dollars in game cash. We're watching curse, right? Yep, those two are gonna go when they are uh, ready. Okay. Spittle needs gamer fuel. Yep, that's true. And they're going in. Uh, And they're in. I like, I like <laughs> JK69 wants to know. <laughs> so the winner wins 25k of in game cash. What if you're premium? If you're well, premium. Well, you don't get to use it then. You can use $2,000. Yeah. If you're premium, you should sub up. Yep. Or, or get an buy escrow an token. <laughs> what do you do if you're premium? <laughs> you stare at $23,000 with envy, I guess. Or you really should have gotten first or second, so you got some station cash. <laughs> yeah. All right.
Cursebringer and Mathlos definitely wanting some vengeance. This is, you yeah. know what, I think Mathlos has got to be thinking in his head, man, I play with the dad, I come in the <laughs> consolation bracket. Uh-oh, this is getting I familial. play with the son, I come in in the consolation bracket. Well, maybe he's bringing them down. Uh, exactly. So I think we need to see a daddy-o Cursebringer Let's see what happens going on next here. time. Why, what's up? Why isn't there a father-son team here? Would you guys just kind of get at each other's throats about whose fault it was that you lost or something? Pretty much. Okay, that's probably a good idea to keep it out of the family in that sense. I think I also asked him to be on the show, you know, talking. Oh, so. all right. So it's your fault. Yeah, that makes can, sense. We can do that. Okay. To me, it just looked like Lex killed himself on his own <laughs> orbital strike right there. I know that's not possible, but it looked that way. You know what I love about this tournament so far, Daddio, is uh, that I haven't seen a lot of duplicate characters even in the same match. Was what? that that well, wasn't part of the structure, was it? You guys nope. said you just can't have the same person on the same team, right? Exactly. I don't even think I've seen a duplicate in each, in any match. There hasn't been like two steals. There have there? been two steals. Have there? Yeah. I didn't notice that. We had steal on steal action. Really? When was that? Yep. What match was that? You know what? I don't care that much. I believe you. Not really. But, but I think but that's the only one. All right. Yeah. And it's we've been, it's so been we've seen Superman. We've seen Steel. What uh, are these guys? Sinestro. What is going on here? What is Most Wanted doing? What are they doing? They are getting bloodlust after Lex and just leaving the node open. Killing people, Points I guess. are just ticking away. No damage going down on Lady Duprina. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe they have a tactic. They did throw the barrel in here, and now they've got two on one situation. It looks like a seriously long spawn timer for... Uh, the other BBQ player, but man, Lady Derpina is just killing it. She held on. She, she did more than hold on. She just took out Mathlos and Cursebringer both. Well, well no, nope, Mathlos she, she is still had, standing, but she had uh, death by Tesla there. Was it that the whole time? I didn't for, notice. for most of the time. Though, okay. she was blasting. Okay, it all right, all right. I, they must have been off camera. Love that pullback move, the retro rocket that Lex can do. Oh, classic nemesis battle. Lex versus Superman. Of course, Sinestro gets in the mix, too, because it's Superman, and he usually beats up Lex. So we need the advantage. Two on one for Superman. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Curse. Superman retreating. Cold Blast. Still live, hopefully. Oh! oh. All right. Mathlos again coming off the node. Lady Derpina, very little health, choosing to try and do some burst damage before going down. Really not playing the node game, but scores some points just in the knockouts phase right there. Yep. Alright, 42-678. Barbecue looking like they're coming in uh, into a good advantageous kind of position here. As the points are going down, they've got about a 240 point lead. And Mathalos going down again, but man, did Barbecue take some serious damage They're in the exchange. Both very hurt. Both hanging on. Got to finish if Cursebringer one. can get Lady Derpina down, he nope. cannot. Both the Barbecue guys hang on. Well done. See Lex barrel hunting, not seeing anything. Comes back. See up, oh, goes for a turret. Goes for a turret. Mathalos barely interrupted it in time. That's a difficult one to get because the other team's just coming right in there. Of course, that'll combat scenario if it shoots, so it's a good attempt. A lot of options here. You can go for the turrets. You can go barrel hunting. You can go try and uh, grab the mainframe over this way, which spawns the, uh, the sentry drones. Great battle between Mathalos and, the other, and uh, Lady Derpina, but unable to hold on Once there. Once again, uh... Most wanted not on the ropes. Not as close a match as last time. No, most wanted on the ropes. They might have they might have completely spent themselves yep. on the animate esports match there. Oof. That was a well timed VO from Lex Luthor. Six forty three to sixty two. It's coming down to it. Alright, this is looking really rough. Are you giving your boy some words of encouragement there? I don't hear much. I think it's too late. Yeah, no, I'm not talking to him, so okay. don't disturb him. Oh, he that, probably looks point. pretty angry at I'm this point. I'm full of bad fatherly advice, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes you are. <laughs> i got to stay out of their business. <laughs> All right, we got... Uh, well, they're holding. 27. Like the Tesla definitely has a uh, consistent tactic to try and get above, which is Swept pretty it good. Out. Nice job, Most Wanted. Let's see what they can do to hold on here. They see need if a they barrel can, They literally, right now. literally cannot give up a knockout. They have to be perfect for the heels. rest of the way here. 
And that is going to be tough given the late stages of the tournament that we are in. People are not going to be giving up points. It can Good happen. Job. Curse I believe. almost takes the bait to follow Lady Derpina to stop her from getting that barrel. But Curse, I believe in you. To do it. Death by Tesla on the outside. Getting got him. rocked by Mathalos. Two on one situation. Second and switch. most wanted switches the advantage. 398 to 27. They are coming back. They need another barrel. They do. They got a nice barrel. That's not the one they need. It's needed. okay. They're pretty much they're close to full health. 356 and death by Tesla not challenging the node. Mathalos has to abandon it they to avoid off. the orbital strike. Cur but they knock Cursebringer right back on to see if he can actually get a couple scores. No, he does not. Death by Tesla getting dangerously low. Cursebringer, get out of there, buddy. See if he can Some lure damage. him away. Oh! oh! Almost! Oh, it was so close! Knockout. They were on the way back, though. If they, they had were. a couple more points, you know. I, th I feel like if there was just, like, maybe two kills off the board there, that would have come down to yep. the wire. Man, that was awesome. Awesome. I, th I thought he might actually get away there. Yep. You know, if they get off the edge, drop if down. If he had gotten a counter off, right, yeah. he would have had the immunity... The opponent would have been on their butt, taking damage from Mathalos. He probably could have skirted away, broke some line of sight or something. I saw him trying to get to that ledge to just drop down over the edge and break line of sight. Because yep. at that point, he's you know, Barbecue has to decide, do I want to get the kill, which is the win right away, or do I want to abandon the node? In that particular case, I would have abandoned the node because right, they for had the like kill. 300 points yeah. left. They could have afforded that, and it was like a sliver of health. So good choice there by uh, Barbecue. Good job by Most Wanted. Mathalos, my man, I am so sorry. That is the second fourth place I have seen happen to you. You're certainly an excellent player, as is Cursebringer. I know we'll see you guys break that top three at some point. The, I mean, the, the their semifinals, the best match by far, so yeah, far, that was this good. tournament. So no, nothing to be good. ashamed of there. No, definitely not. All right, so let's get over and see what's going to happen in this final match, and then we'll wrap it up for Dynamic Duo Tournament. Daddy, are those guys both hanging out at this, or are these two teams both at the Superman statue still? Yes, yes, they are. Let's uh, let's let's go eye them. So another thing that people might not know about Daddyo and Curse Bringer, actually mo most wanted in general at SOE Live, is they are master LARPers as well. Are they? Yeah, didn't you guys win the DCUO uh, Live Quest? Yes, we did. Yes, they Once. did. That's not really LARPing. It wasn't really LARPing. It's LARPing. It's not LARPing. It's LARPing. No. You're doing it, a quest it, as a live it wasn't action. LARPing. Don't try and get you, out of sleep, sleep, lightning bolt. Oh, here, I paid you, you back. You, uh, here, let me have this back. You <laughs> <laughs> it's like spit day here on FNL. Ted yes. loves me. He's missed yeah. me so much. He's going to eat. So we'll, uh, we'll just wait. Uh, no, okay. Who bring going? I'm going to. You. I He's think they might be in their match. Oh. Oh, we didn't get to do our setup. We didn't get to do any setup or anything. They've already started. They've already started. All right. All right here we go. In. No points scored. Up? Yep, you're on. All right, good. A little too loud. Barrel hunting going up. <laughs> it's almost the dig. Yep. All right. Um, or maybe not. Where are they? What are they doing? I'm just used to going to the node. No, just stop. There we go. It's okay. They're oh, they're uh, they're having fun. They're they're facing off. They're bowing. Ah, politely. all right. I see. Were they waiting for us? Maybe they were. I guess so. Okay, so we got Batman and Robin versus Joker and Harley. Wait a second. Have they done some kind of crazy gentleman's agreement to not node this? Nothing I'm aware of. All right, let's see what happens if they're going to be like fighting down here by the Batmobile. Future Slob getting very low in this early exchange. Looks like he's going to get knocked out. Definitely happens. Two-on-one situation, but Clutchmeister at full health. The bad taste team down at both below 10%. I don't think either of one of them. Our Kiro just popped his cola, so he's dry. Let's see if Clutchmaster focuses on vengeance him. No, down. goes down after vengeance. Oh, Clutchmaster and Arquiero Robusto. Oh, those oh, close. Oh, Arquiero comes out on top. Future slobs present grenades not able to help close the deal, but he does mop up. Joker's left. I think. Oh, we can't see the score. Because I think you double ported. Uh, well, I'll port again. So I don't want to interrupt that fight. Really don't want to interrupt that fight. Well, wait. When, when he dies, I'll hit it. What if he never dies? This is a slob we're talking about. He's here. gonna die. All right. See. 
Meps does not believe in you. It's legends. Everybody dies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Should be our tagline. Okay. He's dead. Do it. Still cannot see the score. That's real Weak. sad. Oh, go out of uh, house cam. All right. Hmm. Now we got nothing. No score. I have no idea what the score is. Where are they now? Oh, this is such a fail. I know. They're on the node. They're on the node now. Here. I wish we knew the score. This is killing me. How can we not have the score? All right, we're going to hop out and hop back in. Have to. Sorry. Can't do this without... Hope no, the master is in it. This is just a Ridiculous. single elimination, right? It's not best of three or anything? Single elim. Yep. Okay. Just checking. For the finals, a single elimination? Awesome. Yes. Yeah. There, there we, we go. go. There we go. All right. Very close game. 825 to 860. Sorry about that, folks. I blame their crazy Batmobile shenanigans. Yep. Arquero Robusto dangerously, dangerously low on health and finally does go down. Clutchmeister hanging out on the outside. Barely seeing alive. if he can get a little cheeky lunge in and pays for it with an instant knockout. Vengeance and Future Slob squaring off right now on the node. A couple of uh, Joker goons helping out Future Slob, as you can see. Now it's a two-on-one situation, though, for Animate Esports. They are under... Oh! Goes down. Ooh, Batman stealthing just outside. I love how we have a dynamic duo in the finals of the dynamic duo. And then we have the... Uh, dude, look at this! Two dynamic duos. Do you get it? Harley Joker yeah. and Batman Robin! Yeah. This game is epic! It's pretty exciting. All right. Future Slob. little insane Joker action. Trying to help out the love of his life, Harley. Oh, she's dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Bad taste. Looking like they're moving into the lead they're moving here. ahead. 8-11, 6-22. Yep. It's not looking good. What time is it over in Europe right now? Uh, six hours ahead? Yeah. So it's like three, f two in the morning? It's like for one clutch? in the morning. Is it one? Yeah. Oh. Math is I hard. Think. Animate esports guys really need to make up some ground here. Slob should be wide awake though. I don't think I don't think Clutch is going to uh -oh, use that uh -oh, as an excuse. Uh -oh. Slob definitely taking some heavy damage, but does manage to uh, take out Batman at the same time. So Robusto and Clutchmeister. Clutchmeister getting some backup, but so does uh, Arquero, and it is not enough. He doesn't get it. In Two time. on one now though. Maybe that healing barrel back there would have been nice to bring with vengeance to the fight uh, probably would have made a difference Arquero was really low at the time Robin back uh, just in time to contest Animate Esports split. definitely making up some ground here that is the third unanswered knockout and they're scoring points on the node Slob trying to slow down uh, Vengeance as he comes to, to contest the node Two on one situation right now. Bad taste. He's holding pretty the, well, though. Uh, on the short end of that stick, but finally the reinforcements come. Robusto's back in. Vengeance goes down. Still another two on one situation, but Clutchmeister getting rather low. Let's see if Slob sticks in, steps in and starts taking lead on this. They're um, pretty, they've pretty. they got to be low on power at this point. They haven't had a chance to, to regen at all. Oh, no. Counters pulled off against. Uh, Arquiero. In fact, he gets one off, but goes down. Really bad staggering situation here for Bad Taste. They are absolutely, absolutely watching this tie away from them right and now. And a lead it change. It is tie. If this momentum does not shift back, Animate Esports looking really good right now based on their play. Ooh, last minute cheeky, cheeky stealth maneuver by Robusto. Didn't work. Didn't pay <laughs> no, they there. knew right where he was. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They're focus firing on Slob. Let's see it's if he can down. get out of this situation. Nice. Pulls off some immunity there with a Not nice soda. block. Pops his cola. 
Working the crowbar a little more against the Vengeance. Focus firing from Animate Esports on Batman Vengeance. It goes down. Let's Batman. see if Slob can hold on against uh, Robin. Oh, no. He does go down, leaving Clutchmeister and Arquero Robusto to duke it out on the node. Loud. <laughs> Harley uh. and Robin. Uh, the big boy showed up with some goons. What Ted, do you think about I don't, the goons? Ted, I don't know how to be anything but loud, Ted. <laughs> I know. Just I want to go back to the loud well, comment. You've got loud and louder. What am I at now? You're at loud now. You were at louder oh, a moment ago. I might have been at loudest. When I lost my concentration because oh. you were so loud. Are you sure it wasn't my eyes, Maps? I'm always <laughs> looking straight ahead okay. so I don't have to. Eyes, eyes forward. Yeah. Eyes forward. Always. All right. 370 to 342. Super, super close. Uh, Clutchmeister scoring some points. Or, sorry, Arquero scoring some points there on Animate Esports. Bringing it very, very even. Momentum is shifting, or at least staying on uh, equal footing here. So it looks like they've it's regained right their, down to it. their ground. Bad taste definitely regained their ground. Um, gave up some points there. Let's see if they f can get Clutchmeister or if Animate Esports can pull out the double knockout. Quick spawn timer for Bad Taste. Vengeance coming back in right now. They did not make a lot of headway on Robusto. But they do eventually finish him off. But it, it's it's cool because Vengeance is full health. Looking at Clutch. Probably going to get him. Yep, definitely does. Let's see what happens between Slob and Vengeance. Slob at a bit of an advantage right now. Pulls off the counter move and does knock out the Batman. Joker, Joker alone. Getting his revenge against the Bat. 300, 195. Leaves the node, though. Sometimes you got to do that to make sure that the barrel or the turret or some cheeky tactic from the opponent, um, you know, doesn't get in your way. Arquero Robusto going down. Future Slob also very low. Let's see if Vengeance can finish him off. Clutchmeister taking free shots on the Batman from behind. Slob pops his cola, regains the health. This is not going well for Vengeance, and he goes down. 300, Double 100. knockout, but Arquero Robusto back in the fight contesting the node. It is looking grim. they got to make a stand right here. They cannot afford too many more knockouts and definitely need to score some against Animate Esports, or this one is in the bag. Oh, no, down to 62 points. Over triple the score right now for Animate Esports. Clutchmeister really annoyed at Batman's uh, sentry there. Goes after the pet. Definitely costs future slob a, a knockout. Clutch not looking like he's going to hold on here against Robusto and Vengeance. Vengeance stealths. See, he's not there barrel hunting. He's looking to get some regen time out of combat. Let's see if he pops in. He does. Breaks the stealth to pop back in. Got some Got some health back. Slob is the only one in here right now. Looks. Where is Clutch? Clutch coming in. Long spawn timer. Throw him away. Oh, Very close match here. 195 to 62. Go. Oh my goodness, Slob got launched all the way to the other end of the cave, leaving Clutch by himself right now at this very critical moment. Slob on his way back, oh. Clutch gets huge, huge burst of damage to take 62, him down. 62, 146. This is so close. Oh, 62, unbelievable bad taste, really taking it to animate esports Points right taken. now. Tie game. Getting in position. Abandons that position and comes back and does not actually stop Clutchmeister from zipping on in there. 41 to 62. This is unbelievable. This is the it. lead did change. But this really comes down to these last couple of knockouts here. Very, very tense for both teams, I am sure. Clutchmeister. is looking low. Slob working on Batman, trying to get finish off the Vengeance. Looks like they're going to get that knockout. 27 to 41. Unbelievable two-on-one situation. Can Arquero Robusto be the hero and stay alive to maintain their presence in this match? No, oh, he cannot. Wow. Unbelievable 41 to 0 in the finals. And Slob and Clutchmeister, what I'm sure Squeak they imagined by. as the dream team right. of the right. DCUO PC PvP. And man. Did they just barely pull that out? What a squeaker! So, as expected, they win, but not in the Dude, way we rock. expected. We predicted it.
Hey, did we get 500 job. station cash? Uh, no, nobody gets. Why it not? No, why does nobody it? beat them? You can have 500 station cash. Thank you. Yes. Gosh, yes. What a what a great match. So uh, once again, congratulations. There it is. Your winners, Clutchmeister and Future Slob. Unbelievable. What a great fight. Great competition all around from all the people, but that final was just tremendous. That I got to say, the last two the last two rounds for Clutchmeister and Future Slob, that match versus Mathalos and Cursebringer, yeah, awesome. Yeah, that match versus Vengeance and Archeo Robusto, yes. also awesome. Also awesome. Yes, and close too. And they actually started both matches down and came back, got back in it, and and won it. Unbelievable. So. Really great. All right, so wow, wow, dynamic duo. What a what a great tournament, Daddy O. You happy with how it turned yeah. out? Oh, I'm very happy with it. And I really want to appreciate you guys jumping in on FNL and broadcasting it to everybody else. Hey, we love this, stuff like uh, this. Yeah. This really helps getting the community out there and seeing what everybody's up to. That was awesome. Really, really well done. Good job. You got some really good players attracted to your tournament. Um, I'm sure the competition and the quality of play will just go up from here as people see, you know, what the what the potential is when you get involved in these tournaments. Yeah, I so. hope we have plans for another one pretty soon. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm sure people watching are are kind of itching to get involved next time. Everyone who didn't get involved this time, if they're on USPC. Well, awesome we actually match. had a couple substitute teams that didn't get a chance to get in because I locked the brackets this morning. Uh huh. Gotcha. To get the even even amount to make sure we have finished on time. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, um, we appreciate it. Hopefully they'll be in next time. And hopefully those guys are celebrating with, uh, with the station cash they just racked up. Yeah, good yeah, job. I'll be mailing them in-game their station cash codes. Uh, hopefully their names are correct on the scoreboards so I can type it and send it to the right person. Yep. Uh, if, if you need help with that, let me know. Um, I, I'm okay. just going to throw it out there. Since they won, since Clutchmeister and Slob won, no one's actually claimed the 500 station cash. So I did. Uh, except for you. <laughs> what the? Uh, so if, if you're playing on USPC and you want to queue up for duos, uh, anybody who sends me a screenshot of you besting that team in the open queues or in a scrimmage, however you want to do it, we'll, uh, we'll hook you up. There's a, there's a bounty. Can I do it? There's a, yeah, sure. There's a We're bounty out. Spittle. Sure. Really? Yeah, you're going to have to find a partner. I don't need one. I got a trinket. Okay, that doesn't count. Why not? You, said, <laughs> you can't change the bylines and the fine print after you make statements like that. Maps, you got to. So, oh, man. Get, get a screenshot uh, to me on Twitter or the forums, and uh, we'll see, what see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, those guys will hear about it and maybe do some some cues later tonight or or this weekend or something. But uh, keep an eye out for them. They're worth money. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta twerk a bit here. No, uh, okay. Yeah. Yep. And then the show is over, it's ladies and gentlemen. Um, Spittle is twerking. So uh, that's it for tonight. Uh, tune in next week, next Friday, and every Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific uh, for Friday Night Legends. And uh, keep playing DCUO. Yeah! All right, next time. <laughs> Bye. Sony.